Hi, my friends. It's Miss Diane here to do an activity called sink or float. And that is what we're here to learn. We have a yellow banana, a white egg, an avocado, a rock, an orange, a leaf, a marker, a twig, an empty bottle, and empty means there's nothing in it, and a penny. Now, if you're at home, you have to get a clear bowl, if you have one, and fill it with water. This way, I'm using clear so that you can see inside to see if the object was floating on top of the water or if it was sinking into the water. Now, the first thing I'm gonna try is this banana. What color did we say the banana is? This banana is yellow. So I'm gonna put the banana in and we're gonna see what happens. Oh my goodness. The banana feels heavy, so I thought it was gonna sink, but it's actually floating. That means that the banana is much more dense than the water. That means it's more compacted and less air can get in. So I'm gonna take that banana out. I'm gonna try our egg. Some friends might have brown eggs. I have white eggs. So I'm going to put my egg. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that the egg is going to sink? Or do you think it's going to float? Let's see. The egg sunk to the bottom. Can you see that? The egg is in the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm going to take that out. And I'll put it very gently down on the counter. Now look at this, this is my rock from my backyard and it's kind of the shape of a triangle. Do you think, this is a heavy rock, do you think that the rock is going to sink or do you think that this rock is going to float? I think that it's going to sink. Let's see what happens. Wow, it's all the way at the bottom. That means that it sunk and it's in the bottom of our jar, our bowl right here. And there it is. So our rock sunk. Now, what did we say this was? This is a fruit that most of our friends love. It's called an orange and it's the color orange. Now, what do you think? Do you think that this orange or is going to float or do you think it's going to sink, which means it's going to go to the bottom of the bowl? Let's see. Oh, it's floating all the way to the bottom. So it's still floating, but it's floating around in the water because the water is moving, but it actually sunk in the water. And this is another thing I caught from my yard. This is a green leaf. Now, I think because it's very light that it's going to float on the water. What do you think that this leaf is going to do? Let's see. It is floating. That means it's on top of the water and it's not down at the bottom. There's our leaf. Now we're gonna try the avocado. The avocado is very heavy. Do you think that the avocado is going to sink to the bottom of the bowl or do you think it's going to float? on top of the water. 
I'm not sure about this one. Let's see. Wow, that's a big surprise for me. The avocado, even though it's very heavy, is floating in the water. That means that the water is underneath and the avocado is not touching the bottom of the bowl. That one was a surprise. How about moms and dads and nanas? Were you surprised that the avocado sunk? Now we're gonna use my marker. We have these at school. What color is that marker? The top is green. So when I write with this, it will write with green ink. We're gonna put this in and see what happens. The marker is at the top of the water. It, it's on, floating on top of the water. It didn't sink to the bottom like this. So my marker floats. And last, almost last actually, is our twig. This is another thing that I found around the outside of my home. What do you think the twig is going to do? Is this twig green, brown, or purple? That's right, it's brown. Let me put the twig in and see what happens. The twig is floating. It's on top of the water, it's floating. Okay, and now our last item is our penny. Do you think the penny is going to sink to the bottom or do you think it's gonna float on the water? It's small and it doesn't weigh a lot. So let's see. The penny sunk. It went all the way to the bottom of the bowl. Wow, so that means that pennies sink. Okay, now I'm gonna move this over. We're gonna count how many items we learned about today. So I'm gonna put them all in a line. And we're gonna put them on two sides. We're going to put the items that sunk to the bottom of the bowl on my left side. And we're gonna put the items that floated on the top of the water on my right side. So here we go. What item is this? This is our penny. And I remember our penny sunk. So I'm gonna put it on my left. Now let's see. Do you remember what this is? This is the avocado. And the avocado surprised me the avocado actually floated on top of the water. So I'm gonna put that on my right. Now we have our twig. What color is this twig? It's a brown twig. And the twig, do you remember what it did? That's right, it floated. So we're gonna put that on my right. Now we're gonna look at the egg. It's not a brown egg. What color is this egg? It's white. And this surprised me also. The egg actually sunk. So we're going to put that on my left. Then we have our banana. Our purple banana, right? No, this is a yellow banana. Our yellow banana actually was floating on top of the water. So we're gonna put our yellow banana on the right side. Then we have our green marker. Our green marker, did it float or did it sink? Do you remember? Hmm, I remember the green marker actually floated. It stayed on top of the water. So our green marker floats. So I'm gonna put that on my right side. Then we have our rock. The rock is very heavy. I know that all my friends love our rocks at school, but rocks are not for throwing. They're not for hurting friends, but we can use them to do experiments like our sink and float. 
And I remember our rock sunk to the bottom of the bowl. So I'm gonna put it on my left. Then we have this. Is this an apple? No. Is it a banana? No. This is an orange. That's right, an orange. And it's the color orange. And our orange actually was floating. So I'm gonna put that on my right. Then we have our green leaf. Leaves are all over on earth. They're in plants, they're in trees, they're in different colors. This one's a green leaf. And our green leaf, I remember, floated. So I'm gonna put that on my right. And something we didn't do was our bottle. We didn't test our bottle. So we're gonna test the bottle now and see if it goes on our left side for sink or on our right side for float. So I'm gonna bring my bowl back and I'm gonna put this bottle with the purple top into my bowl and see what happens. Wow, the bottle is floating. So that means when something is floating, it's on top of the water. And can you remember what side we put floating objects on? Do we put them on my left or am I putting them on my right? This is floating and all my floating objects like my banana, my avocado, my orange, my leaf, and my marker are on the right. So that means that my bottle which floats will go on my right side. Let's count how many objects we have all together. The penny is one, the egg is two, the rock is three. So we have three items on our left side that sunk. And let's count how many items on our right side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven objects on our right. That means we have 10 objects all together. If you add seven and three, then you have 10. So let's count how many objects floated. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many objects sunk? The penny, one, the egg, and the rock all sunk to the bottom. So when you're at home, you have to make sure that you get permission to do this experiment and you can collect things around your house or outside of your house on nature walks and you can see at home whether they sink or whether they float. So I hope everybody is enjoying their time at home. I hope you've had fun doing this activity and I will see you again when school is coming up, hopefully soon. Bye guys.